So, quick update. I um, took the liberty of unwrapping this. And what we have here is uh, cookery made by um, Heritage. Uh, no, it's cookery is from Nepal. Um, this particular one, I've never got one from them before. They're a little bit different. They get fresh 5160 as opposed to old leaf springs. And they also oil temper quench their um, knives as opposed to uh, water tempering. So theoretically the steel will be fresh. It's uh, virgin steel and then properly tempered. So it's interesting. This one has uh, got some nice detail on the, the leather dap. I haven't tried taking the frog off, but I assume it probably does come off. Um, solid belt loop, well made. Um, this particular one, unusual for me, has uh, two tools that often come with them. This one is um, used for burnishing the blade. Um, Chapmac, I think it's called. And this one, or Carter, I might have got those wrong. This one's a little wee utility knife. Um, Put some okay edge on these. Um, nothing to write home about, but yeah, certainly sharp, handy little thing. And the detail that they managed to get. I mean, that, if you can see that, the wood's so thin there, and they managed to get that in, so it's, it's pretty nice. The, the blade itself, <laughs> this is. big uh, cookery. It's got some few stones on it. That's uh, half of the course. I'll tidy up. So this is about uh, 40 centimeters or um, just over 15 and a half inch blade. Um, it's light for the length. Um, what it's come with actually is Not too bad. Um, it'll take a bit of work to get it up to what I consider um, really sharp, but um, it's good and it is thin, thin. Um, the way this spine on this is uh, thin, and the, the whole thing is uh, gently, gently tapered, um, slight distal. Tafer. Uh, this is a rat tang. It's a traditional style. You can just see where it's been pinned over here, and then this cap has been put on the top to protect the wood. Very traditional rosewood handle. Um, big curve, big amount of blade in there. Big, um, like a, a I don't know a wood. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> My uh, pronunciation of Nepalese needs a lot of work, but yeah, this is a big, big cookery. Um, this, apparently, so the story goes, um, is based on a uh, series of blades they found in the arsenal, the Nepalese arsenal, probably made around 1890 through to about 1910 by one particular kami or a group of kami under one uh, maker. They're, they're not entirely sure which which way it went uh, and there's debates about what this was intended for. Um, I've heard one person who's making a copy of these refer to them as um, Maharaja bodyguard um, cookeries um, but I've also heard them just described as standard issue for the Nepalese army um, just particularly well-made version. This is obviously just a representation of copy, um, modern made, not a original. However, it's it's certainly um, it's certainly a nice looking blade. Although I mean, the, the fit and finish maybe not as nice as some others, but I'm pretty sure the blade will perform once I put it to the test, um, which I will be looking at doing. 
But yeah, this this is what it comes with. Obviously, um, these two little blades aren't things that'll be getting a lot of use. One of them is, like I said, just for burnishing. And one of them is a little utility blade. And the chances are, if I decide to use this as a regular user, which I'm still looking for, and this may be it, um, then I'll make a Kydex sheath and uh, not worry about these little things um, popping out. Quite frankly, I, you know. For a multi tool over a little, uh, little blade, but yeah, this is the latest one I've got. I want to put this through its pace, get an idea of it, and then I'll do a proper review and a comparison to other ones I've got. Um, yeah, so Heritage Heritage Knives, um, uh, I think his website is Killer Tools K I L A T. OLS, um, the guy who owns the site, um, Mr. Uh, Viking Kumar, and I'm probably pronouncing that wrong, really good guy, I think he's a chef, and I understand he sort of travelled around, got an idea of different knives from different chefs by travelling the world, came back, decided to start making those knives, um, and then branched into cookeries as the natural version, so he makes cookeries and regular knives and chef's knives. Uh, I guess the difference between him and a lot of makers is that he gets original versions, tries to get a couple of them at least, um, sort of pulls them apart, gets the specs and then re you know, make, makes them new versions based on that, just sort of updating the handle slightly to make them fit better for Westerners. Um, and maybe makes very slight changes based on things that he thinks could be an improvement, but they're pretty much faithful reproductions of versions he's got. So he makes um, modern cookeries, and, and some of his ones are very modern and um, don't maybe based on older ones, but aren't um, strictly speaking military ones. This this one again here, it's not a um, military pattern, um, not a British version at all, it's a Nepalese version, um, and it's slightly different from the originals that he has of this version, um, but he's made this one, he actually made this one lighter for me, um, I wanted something that was not as heavy as the ones he originally makes, um, and this one, he, I haven't caught, measured it, uh, weighed it yet, but he said it was around 650 grams, and it feels lively in the hand, um, feels good. So we've just chopped down a um, big old oak tree, um, which was the last tree on the school that was in danger of falling, um, and it's <laughs> rotten at the bottom. So um, I'll probably give this a test on oak, which is, uh, which will certainly put it through its paces. So yeah, well, like I said, I'll do a more detailed, um, more up-to-date, more informative review once I had a chance to uh, put it through its paces. But yeah, latest uh, package from the fall yet again. Cheers guys, have a great day.